Hello everyone, I'm Chris, and I'm here today to talk to you guys about our senior design project. For this project, we were asked to design and build an active magnetic bearing capable of floating underneath a steel plate. In this part of the video, we are measuring the weight of various rolls of coins. We are doing this because we will be using them later in this video to demonstrate the accuracy of our module to estimate an applied load as well as using them to demonstrate that even under heavy load our module is still capable of moving freely while floating underneath the steel plate. In this part of the video I'm going to walk you through all the equipment needed for us to achieve our design objectives, starting with the host machine which compiles our Simulink model for our real-time machine to run. Above that we have our dual channel Quanzer linear voltage amplifiers which are used to power our electromagnets. Next we have our target monitor which displays information about our model in real time. Below that we have our two I.O. boards for our real time machine. We are using a total of three outputs and six inputs going to and from these boards to control our module. Each output is used to control the amplifier driving each electromagnet and three inputs are used to measure the current going through these electromagnets. The other three inputs are used to measure the distance from the top of the magnets to the steel plate. And lastly, our 5 volt power supply used for our optical distance sensors. And this is our actual model. It is comprised of three 10 kg hold electromagnets and three QRE113 infrared distance sensors. In this section we are going to demonstrate the accuracy of our weight scale on our module. The approximated load weight is displayed on the target monitor. Previously we showed how much each roll of coins weigh, so let's get started by adding 200 grams. Initially, our scale reading of 250 grams is not accurate. In order for us to get an accurate measurement, we must first lock our module to the steel plate and then slowly lower it. Once that is completed, our scale then reads about 196 grams. On average, our scale has an accuracy of within 5% error from no load up to 1 kilogram, which is our maximum sustainable load. I would also like for you to take note that our average power consumption used to sustain hovering will increase when more load is applied. So let's go ahead and test once more with 628 grams and see just how accurate our scale can be. This time we were more accurate measuring about 621 grams. That is less than 1% error. In this section we will be demonstrating that even under our maximum payload capacity of 1 kilogram, our module can still move freely underneath the steel plate. I hope you enjoy the demonstration. In this section of the video, we will be demonstrating the ability of our module to raise and lower itself. We can accomplish this by pressing a key on our keyboard. The displacement between the steel plate and the magnets will be displayed for your convenience. Our maximum distance between the plate and the magnets when no load is applied is 1.8 millimeters. Even at this distance, you will see that our module will start to oscillate. Anything farther than 1.8 millimeters, and we are not certain that our module will be able to recover and could potentially fall. Now, here at 0.7 millimeters is where we normally operate. This is where our module defaults the hovering distance to, as well as where we lower ourselves when we are approximating a load. In this last section of the video, I will show you our control code output and how we control our module. 
our module is controlled by pressing either the 1, 2, Q, W, or space keys on your keyboard. After a key was pressed, it will then display an output to the screen of what it just did. When quitting the control program, it will give you a 5 second countdown and warn you to catch the module before it falls. And with that, our video comes to an end. I hope you enjoyed it.